What's up, fam? Smiley here. Welcome to the Smiles for Miles RC time. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Happy Monday. I hope everybody had a happy, safe weekend. Um, I know I had a good time trying to get a little scooter, doing some Uber Eats delivering on my little scooter I'm purchasing. So I'm really excited about that. But that's not here or there. We're here for some RC fun. And I recently picked up a couple cars from an RC enthusiast here in Southern AZ and uh, he was getting rid of a couple pieces and one of them was basically brand new and um, the other one was used. So today we're going to be talking about the Trax Teton uh, 118 scale uh, truck. And I have it right here and uh, we'll get into it, um, have a little chat about it. I hope you guys are good. I hope you're good. Oh, there we go. Stay hydrated. Uh, by the way, also, would you mind uh, giving me a subscription? Thumbs up. If you give me a thumbs up, the algorithm recognizes me and puts me out into the world farther for YouTubers and RC car enthusiasts. It doesn't cost a dime. It's all free, and all you're doing is helping me out. I don't make a dime off of that. Once I get a 1,000 subscribers, I will be monetized by YouTube and Hopefully that all happens. But until then, we're going to keep going, keep having fun, and just enjoying. All right, here we go. Keaton, boom. You can tell that I already did some modifications. And uh, I put bigger tires on it. I also had some of these tabs with the little, the little uh, thumb leash-like thing. So I replaced the tabs that came with it and put those on instead. Also, I have the Traxxas remote, and we'll be talking about that first. Um, this is the Traxxas remote, rather beefy. Um, it's not, I don't have the remote from my Traxxas X-Max uh, infraction because all the guts, everything inside of that X-Max is uh, Arma infraction, and, and the remote came with it. So it's really cool. It has you know, the, the uh, emergency brake and all kinds of fun stuff. We'll talk about that in the future. But this is the Traxxas, the Trax remote, 2.4 gigs. And it says Latrax on it right there. Pretty cool. Um, you have your, uh, I need the eyes. Very tiny lettering, very tiny, tiny indeed. Um, this is your steering trim right here, okay? And this is your on light when you turn it on the on and off button is down here at the bottom you switch it and the light comes on this button i'm not sure what it's for i believe it has something to do with programming i don't need it so i'm not going to be using it you got forward and reverse very nice trigger very nice smooth very well made this is a very well made uh um remote um it can't <laughs> It came with uh, AA batteries. It takes four AA batteries, okay? And the reason it came with them is because the person I bought it from uh, gave me the batteries to come with it. And which is really cool because these are Traxxas AA batteries and they're a power cell. And it's like, I was reading about them and they're like the most powerful um, AA battery, perfect solely made for Traxxas, but perfect for um, remotes. So I thought that was really cool. And to have a set of those was really cool. The other car I purchased from him, you'll see, I'm not gonna do a unboxing like I do here. It's such a bigger car that I'm gonna have to take it out in the wild and we'll talk about it out in the wild. Um, but yeah, that's a remote control. I'm gonna set that aside. And now here we have the car. and. The shocks on the car are actually not too bad. They're, they're kind of spongy, but when you drop it, it just sticks. It doesn't, doesn't bounce. So that's really cool. Um, let's take, uh, it's got, what I did was I put, these are um, from the DERC H16E. And I put some bigger tires, 112 scale tires on that. And then I took the, the um, tires off of, that I had left over from that car and I put them on the here. Now I had to do a slight modification to extend the wheelbase so that the tires wouldn't hit the car or the body tray itself. And uh, I'm not gonna take the wheel off to show you what I did, but I will explain what I did. 
because everything is plastic on these Latrax cars for the most part, um, including the 12 millimeter hubs and axles or the, you know, the dog bones and CVTs, um, I super glued a 12 millimeter hex to extend it out that much. And then because these are screwed in and not a bolt on, um, I screwed them together and let it sit overnight to cure. And then now that way I have an extended out wheelbase. It doesn't cause any, um, any um, weakness or anything. And the mounting bolt that go or the nut that goes in, or no, the screw, the mounting screw that goes in has quite about that much thread left over. So it's plenty of thread to get all the way up into the axle hub and it won't be a weak spot at all. But in return, I was able to widen the stance on the car front and the back to uh, accommodate these bigger tires. So um, I'm gonna take the, the clips off. These are the clips I replaced. Instead of the stock ones, I put these on. These are from DERC, um, from one of the, my other models that sent left extras, you know, presents. Very nice, very nice Lexan body very durable it's almost kind of rubbery so I imagine this is going to be fairly durable I haven't driven this car at all yet um, it does have a uh, 130 brushed motor it has separate uh, ESC and remote so you have your uh, controller and then you have your ESC right there you got a small tracks of servo these servos you're gonna find in like the, the big summit um, these are plastic geared and these tend to take a, a crap because they're not very well made But you know gang, you got to understand that these cars are toy grade even though you know They're toy grade car, but there is tons of support. You can get all kinds of alloy parts Which I'm gonna end up building this car up. This is what kind of a car I was talking about with like the Remo hobbies You know you got a base structure that you can build up off of and if you're like me You like to mod things and have fun with it um, this is a perfect car for you. These are retailing. Uh, I think mine was 129 retail because I got the box that came with this car and it had a price tag on it. Um, we're going to take a field trip to a local hardware slash RC store where this came from. And you guys will be able to see it. It's called Hobby RC um, Ace Hardware. So very cool. You got uh, the stock shocks front and rear. Um, they they clip on here they you know they pop on with a little nub these little nubs that they pop on you can remove those and put in your own aftermarket shocks um it's got uh what we got up here oh and they pop on pop off is on the top here you can take a pair of pliers and unscrew the these both of these balls um to replace them with uh screws for built-in metal balls and, and uh, pivoting balls and, and sh other shocks, which I do have a set of shocks that I'm most likely going to be installing here in the future. You can get alloy towers and alloy braces for the towers, alloy tower body towers as well. Um, you can get alloy drivetrain. This is all plastic drivetrain. Um, although your drive cups are metal, front and rear, your CVTs are metal. Um, in the back again, it's all plastic struts. Everything is plastic, fairly soft plastic. So it should be fairly malleable and forgiving. The bumper is super durable. These do have a bad habit of breaking right here. Very, you know, very easy. So there is aftermarket ones that are beefier and I have seen alloy ones as well for this, for this truck. Um, like I said, it's a base model to work off of. You do have a metal drivetrain, which is nice. Um, fairly large battery compartment. The battery stock battery it comes with is a ion battery. And uh, I have a 2S sitting here right now. Um, since most of my batteries are all Dean connectors, I bought a adapter, Traxxas adapter. So you have Traxxas female going into the Traxxas male. Now it doesn't fit perfectly, but it fits to work. And it's not janky fits to work. It's designed that way. And on the other end, you have a male Dean's connector. Um, like I said, you, you this thing is highly moddable. 
you know, I'm going to switch it out to, um, once I break stuff, I have this that I took out of my favorite basher, and it's a DERC. This is a built, this is a two-in-one combination, but it takes 2S and 3S. So I definitely am going to transfer this into this car in the future. Because um, my favorite basher, I, I destroyed it. I, it's non-fixable because I can't find replacement parts. DERC doesn't make shock, um, shock towers for the 300E, um, the 300E DERC, 300E 18 scale. But because it's an 18 scale, a lot of that's going to be able to transfer into here. I know a lot of the Traxxas fanboys and Puritans are rolling in their heads like, what the hell are you doing, Smiley? Look, man, we're all on a budget. Well, not all of us, but a lot of us are on a budget. And if you want to play around in the RC car hobby, you know, you're going to be spending quite a bit of money. So it's just as smart to recycle what you have. A lot of RC car enthusiasts, especially the reviewers, have a lot of miscellaneous parts. Everybody's got parts laying around. I have parts. I have all kinds of different parts that I'm going to be utilizing down the road. So that system is going to go in here once I break, once things break. Um, these motors tend to burn out fairly easy. You don't want to run a, a, a couple packs through this motor. Like a lot of brush motors, you don't want to run multiple packs through them because there's a high chance you're going to burn them. That's what happened to my Rilarlo buggy, which I am going to go brushless. To the comment of the viewer, I'm going brushless, bro. Um, so and eventually I'm going to replace I might even replace the servo out of my DERC, take that out of there and replace this one once this goes to crap as well. Because of the same size and it's just going to transfer over. But that one's got metal gears. This is all plastic interior. You can buy from Traxxas the rebuild kit that's all metal, but nah. I'm just, I got parts. So I'm just going to do it. I also have a servo from my one... 14 scale, yeah, it's a one, no, 116 scale legendary uh, Sonic, because I had bought a servo, I told you that story in a prior video, but I had bought a servo thinking that servo was gone when really in reality the, the controller was gone and I had to replace that, so I have a backup servo, and it's the same size as this one, but it's better, and it's metal, so I, that might get in here down the road. Um, you can, you have a lot of adjustments for your towers, which is nice to move your body up and down. Same way with this. Um, this is basically the same format for all of the Latrax cars, you know, the, the, the rally car and the stadium, not the stadium, the short course car. Um, so you could probably, I imagine you could get the different towers to match whatever car and obviously take these tires off. And you could have, you know, the short course. I don't think the rally car would transfer, but it is the same body. The same, you know, setup. They're all the same. On the bottom, very minimal. It's all Phillips. You do have your your uh, mounting points for your motor mount. And that's good. You got all these to take apart this whole section. Same way down here. You could take these off and this off and pulls this out. Um, this one here is for, you got two here and there. That's to take the servo mount off. These four come out and these two, this whole section will come off. Same way back here, this whole section will come off. So if you want to like, you know, change the gearing, <clears throat> excuse me, you can get metal pinions and a metal spur gear, drive gear, that's uh, steel from um, Traxxas as well. Which I said, like I said, down the road, this is going to get turned into my new basher and uh, my little new mini basher. These are great. I love little cars. You can, you know, I can throw them in my, my basket of my bike or one of the baskets of my bike or my saddlebags and remote and tripod and off and running I go and go get to have smiles for miles with my cool, fun little car. Um, you know, if I take a bigger car, I have a trailer that I, I connect to my bike. And I put the bigger cars in my trailer with whatever else, tripod. And if I'm going to use some ramps, I put my ramps in my trailer as well. And I transport it to the spot I go. But everywhere I take a car to run, I ride my bike. 
So I'm riding at least 10, as minimal as six miles round trip to up to 20 miles round trip on my bicycle. I do ride a uh, electric, L-E-C-T-R-I-C brand, XP Light. It's a 350 motor. It's a little BMX bike. Uh, I got it off of the website. Great company. You should look into them if you're interested in getting an electric bike. I'm going to be doing a uh, review about that on this channel because it's electric and I have mentioned it several times and I've shown it to you several times and I want to give you my thoughts after owning it for two years. I got almost 2,000 miles on it and that's pretty much all I ride is I don't use my car. It's very rare I use my car unless I well now I have a trailer. I don't even use the car for that. I used to use the car to go get cases of water know really where to put them on baskets but now I have a trailer I just throw my cases of water in my trailer and off and running we go so um yeah so anyways you might be able to see in there that I have an extender I extended out the wheelbase so that way that it's not when I turn the wheels let's find the front okay when I turn the wheels it's not going to hit it's not hitting that and that's really me pushing a lot of force to get it to hit that. But when it's just a remote, it's not going to it's not going to hit that. It's not going to hit the body either. So it's just enough of an extension outwards to create more of the stability because these seem to be top heavy. Um, I don't know why it's just a body, but apparently these are all the videos I've seen. They're very topply tur topply turvy. Um, so I extended the wheelbase, and of course I want bigger tires. This is going to put strain on the drivetrain. So I will be replacing a lot of parts because this is very brittle. The teeth and all the parts in this car are very brittle. They, they shred very easily. So um, this definitely is going to get a lot of upgrading. Um, what else is going on here? That's interesting. That's, a, that's interesting. I like it. Uh, anyways, to get this off, you got four screws. To take this whole section off, you got some screws here to move this out so you can get the motor, so you can get the motor out. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a trans transplant in the future. Um, I have a 2S LiPo, like I said earlier. This has got 2200 ma in there. Um, I know this motor is going to get hot as a Dickens if I run a full 2200 pack. But that's the nature of the beast. If you want to push the envelope, fortunately, parts get destroyed it's just kind of the way it is but um at the same vein you have a lot of support with this truck a lot of support with this truck it's amazing how much support is with this truck um okay let's plug it in and uh let you see how it it goes with the i'm not going to run it but i'll let you i'll turn it on and get it running for you guys okay like i said here's your on and off switch turn that on you got your um on and off switch is right here for the car. And now we're on. Remote, like I said, the servo is not the best, but I'm going to be putting a, in the future, once this one gets stripped, I'm going to put a better servo in there. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And here we are, full throttle. Not too bad. My tires are already glued, so that's good. And then you got a brake. There's brake, and then reverse, and brake. So, pretty good car. It's a lot of fun to play around with. I will be doing a, a video on it. I think I'm going to take this to the skate park. Most likely, this might get destroyed at the skate park, and I'll start rebuilding it to be a brushless system. But um, we'll see. We'll see. It, it might surprise me. But I'm um, definitely going to take this one to the snake park. Um, snake run at the skate park. I can talk. I can talk. And I'm going to turn it off. And turn the remote off. Unplug the Dean's connector. There we go. Knocking things over. All right. So that's the Latrax Teton or Teton or Toton. I've seen, heard so many people say different things for as far as like what they call it. I just say Teton after the Teton Mountains. Um, it's just what I say. So 
Uh, I did get the blue, white, and orange. That's the one that came, the body, that, excuse me, that came with it. You can get replacement bodies for these and, um, you know, down the road if you need be. We'll see how it go. Um, I do have a set of LED lights that I will be installing in this somewhere. I don't know where yet, but somewhere I'm going to put a LED set in here, just uh, front headlights. I got a pair from my favorite basher, the DERC 300E. So I'm going to be putting that in here. I'll probably modify these openings to fit those. We'll see what happens there. But that's down the road. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Like I said, I hope this video finds you all happy and healthy. Having a great time with your friends and family. Get out there and bash. You're never too old to get an RC car, plane, whatever. Just go have fun. Enjoy your life. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell. Share. Leave me a comment if you have one of these cars and what you've done to your car. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't cost a dime to do all that. And you're helping me a great deal. You have no idea how much you are helping me by subscribing and hitting the notification bell and hitting the thumbs up. Thumbs up's a good one. It's a real good one because that, like, again, the algorithm reads that I'm putting me out there farther in the world. So that's the goal. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace be the journey, brothers and sisters. Smiley's out. And I'll see you on the next video.